Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Um, today I'm going to be kind of doing a different video. I'm actually going to be doing a video that was a request. I got an email um, a couple days ago about um, maintenance tips for guitars. Um, and I think this is actually a really good time to discuss issues like this, especially with the winter months coming up and the humidity index dropping. Um, so if you don't know what that means, stay tuned. I'm going to explain it real quick. So basically, in the winter time, depending on where you live, so like I live in Michigan, so our winters are really cold and brutal, um, the humidity index drops. And what that means is there's moisture content that's in the air, and the air gets dry as the winter comes because the cold cannot hold moisture in the air. So what will happen is if you don't properly maintain your guitar and humidify it, you can get cracks. That wood is uh, very like porous. It has like little, I mean you can't really tell, but it, it has moisture in it. Even though this isn't like part of a tree anymore, this still needs to have moisture. And what can happen is if it doesn't have a certain um, humidity index that the wood can actually crack and therefore obviously damaging your guitar. And it's really important to start humidifying your guitar if you live in an area or a region where your humidity is getting very low. And uh, a way to um, to uh, to see if you if you have a low humidity index is to go on like your weather channel or whatever in your region and you can look up humidity index. But it's really important to check the humidity index of your house. Now I have what I call, it's called a hydrometer, and what you do is I actually have it in my guitar case, it measures the moisture content in the air. So like the one that I have in my guitar case right now is telling me that my humidity, humidity index is like 45%. Now realistically, you wanna keep your guitar in an environment with at least 70 degrees from 45 all the way up until 55%. 55% is getting kinda high, so I like to keep mine in between like right on 45 is right where I like to keep it. So I have that in my guitar case so it tells me the humidity index all year long because in the summer months when it's hotter there's more moisture in the air and I have to actually take moisture out of the air by using a dehumidifier. So I'm going to get into that next. Um, there's these things that you can buy that are called case humidifiers and what you do is I'm going to put links in the description. So this is one that's made by Oasis and what you do is it has these crystals in it that make like a jelly like substance that actually release moisture and it actually goes inside the sound hole like this and you just leave it in there when you're not playing it and then you want to put it in your case with the case closed and then throughout you know the day or whatever it'll release moisture content into the actual guitar itself there so that the guitar doesn't actually dry out or anything during the winter which is really important because if you let your guitar dry and you get cracks uh, you might not be very happy at the end of the day um and then the next thing that i have is i also have a humidifier that i put water in um and i have it running in my room right now so if you hear a bunch of like noise that's what it is and uh, then I use only distilled water um, these humidifiers require distilled water because if you have like hard water and you have like chemicals in your water and stuff it doesn't it doesn't work very well and it'll actually break it down some of the chemical compositions but um so yeah like I said I'll have links in the description of these there's tons of different like processes that you can use throughout the winter months but um, I would really stress that depending on where you live right now it's very important to see if you're in a region where it's dry because um, now that the winter months are coming on, it's going to be crucial to start humidifying your guitar. Whether and it and it could be anything ukuleles, guitars, mandolins, anything that is a wood-based instrument-based guitars. Um, it's really important to uh, start humidifying it. So I'll have links in the description of the humidifiers that I personally use. I'll also have a link in the description of the hydrometer that I use. And again, just to reinstate a hydrometer just measures the moisture content so like I have mine in my guitar case so it's telling me that right now in my guitar case I have 45 percent humidity index and realistically you're going to want to keep your your environment uh, 45 to 55 percent so there's a 10 percent range where you should have it if you have it anything lower than 45 percent you're at risk of uh, cracking or bowing your instrument um, if you have a, a lack of it this can warp and bow and uh, it's just not a good thing so, um, like I said, I have links in the description and uh, of all the products that I use. And like I said, I really stress that you guys start using them now um, so that you can continue playing through the winter months and uh, not have a problem at all. So, um, guys, take care and uh, humidify up 
and keep rocking. <laughs> Okay guys, if you stick along to this video this long, I have good news for you. If you can tell me the name of the song, I only played the first part of it that I played in the intro and in the end, tell me the composer and the name of the song and the year in which it was composed, then I'm going to pick one uh, random person who got it correct and I'm actually going to personally send them one of the Oasis humidifiers that I use for free. So all you have to do is you have to guess the song correctly and the composer and the year. And the way I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to post a picture on my Instagram of a picture of a guitar or whatever, my first picture, and I want you to comment on my picture on Instagram. This way that I have all my followers and stuff on YouTube going to my accounts, my social media accounts, so that way I can communicate with you guys outside of YouTube. So again, you have to tell me the composer the name of the song, and the year that it was composed, and write it on my first picture on my Instagram account. I have my Instagram account in the links in the description along with everything else. So, good luck. Hopefully you know the song. If you don't know the song, look it up, find it, because it's a great piece, great composer. And guys, take care.